Okay, this video is going to show you how to set the ignition timing for an old uh, Tecumseh six horsepower motor, a four stroke motor. Um, this is out of a, an old Arians 1960s snowblower. The uh, engine's torn off and it's up here on the bench. And this is your magneto assembly on the engine. Um, the cover has been removed, which you see there. And I also took off some of the, uh, the wiring terminals that go to your capacitor and your, your magneto coil. Um, you'll want to take those wires off um, because they will measure uh, they will measure as a closed circuit. So you want to take those off so you can uh, can measure an open circuit as your your contacts uh, open and close. And this video is not related to uh, camshaft timing. Um, within the engine. This is strictly just ignition timing of your magneto and you can see these two bolts here are uh, hand tight so we can adjust the the timing relative to the, the piston. That's what we have set up here is a, a dial indicator to tell us where top dead center of the uh, engine is. Um, so one thing you want to do to start out is remove your cover from the magneto assembly Remove um, all the wiring off of the, uh, the contact. And then a um, couple of things you'll need are just a cheap uh, multimeter um, from <clears throat> somewhere like Walmart or Home, Home Depot, Lowe's, or even uh, like a Harbor Freight Northern tool. Um, <clears throat> those are really just a few bucks. And then the next thing you'll need is a dial indicator um, you can find these in the same places, or maybe even off Amazon. Um, they run about $20 or less. And really, this is kind of what you need because it'll show you movement um, and of, of your direction. Not your direction, but it'll show you movement of, of your, your piston um, and how far you're off from top dead center. So one thing you want to know before doing this as well is rotation of your engine. Um, you can find that out just by kind of looking at your blower and figuring out, figuring out which way it needs to turn and then kind of relate that to the engine itself. Uh, I'm assuming they're all pretty much the same. Um, this engine, the Tecumseh, rotates uh, be counterclockwise if you're looking at it from the pulley side. And then it'd be clockwise from the, the flywheel end. So it'll rotate in this direction. And that, that's something you need to know because um, you want to set that timing of the contact point uh, according to the specifications of the, the particular engine you have. This Tecumse H60 has a timing dimension of 80 thousandths or 0 0.080. So what that means is 0 0.080 before top dead center or BTDC it's called. So what you have to do is find your direction that your engine will be turning and turn it in that direction. And that kind of eliminates the, the play or the backlash within the the crankshaft and the connecting rod in your piston cylinder. Um, so you want to be turning the, the correct way. And you measure 80 thousandths before you hit top dead center of the piston. And at that point, you want that contactor to just start to open. And that will set your timing. And before you do all this, though, you'll want to check out some other videos to set your, your uh, contact point gap. And typically that can be found um, on your engine or even I believe the magneto cover itself has my set point on it of 0 .020. And that's for this particular engine. You can also find that online. If you just look up your uh, engine model number, you can find the, uh, the contact set points. So to do that, check out some other videos basically just put a feeler gauge um, when the, the cam of the shaft is 
just at the maximum point, which is a slight landing on, on across the, the cam. Um, and when you're at that high point, you set your, your contact point gap. And then after you do that, then you can mess with your, your timing. So we have that set. Now what we have to do is take your dial indicator and find top dead center. So to do that, if you're not familiar with the dial indicator, kind of just set it on here and rotate your engine until you find where it bottoms out, or tops out, I should say. And you just kind of have to zone in on your zero point, and you want to make sure that you're not bottomed out within the gauge itself. It want, you need play within the gauge, and you don't want to move at all. I kind of have it set off to the side here of the valves. So when my gauge is set up, zone in on zero here, I measure to read that it would be you see the small dials at three which indicates point three and then zero so i'm at point three zero zero that's my top dead center now my measurement that i need for my timing dimension is point zero eight zero so essentially i just subtract that from my point three and that would give me 0 0.220, which you see there, it's 0 0.220. That's the point before top dead center that I want my ignition to start. So that's that's essentially the point you need. So when we hit 0 0.220, again, going in the correct direction to eliminate the backlash within your engine, engine components, you want to be at 0 0.220, and what happens is, that is the time that the contacts will just start to come apart. And to find that, you use your multimeter. And to do that, you'll set your multimeter on the, that screw post there, and then you can just bottom one out on the, uh, not bottom out, but ground out right onto the, the case itself. So we have our meter. Um, on that post and also one on the, the case of your engine um, which would be your ground and the meter set up here and you want to be measuring in resistance or ohms and it doesn't matter what your value is as long as you can tell the difference between zero or one or infinity um, zero meaning it's a closed circuit infinity or, or one or high value meaning it's it's open so you want to turn your engine in the correct direction, it'll, it'll run. And I'll get a shot here of the meter, which is at, you see, zero, zero, 001, um, which is essentially zero. So once that hits, goes up to, I believe, one on, on my particular meter, that means you have an open circuit. So right now, the contact points are closed, and as soon as we hit that 80,000 site that we want, that's when the meter should read one or, or infinite or high value. It will change. So if you recall, our number was 220 is the number we want to hit, and you'll see that meter just change right around there, right there. That is our timing dimension. So you don't really want to go back and forth between it because you'll there'll be backlash in your engine. So you want to kind of back off and then go back. And I'm turning with my hand on the pulley. Once we hit, so 200, nothing, 210, nothing, 215, nothing, 220. And if you recall, we started at 300 was our, our top dead center. So 80 thousandths before top dead center is what we have right there, and that's exactly what we want for the engine. So to change that, you would simply loosen up your two bolts to adjust your magneto assembly 
and spin it in the appropriate direction to slightly change that timing. So your cam, where it hits this little plastic lifter, um, would need just, just basically adjusted slightly to get your different reading when your meter opens or closes. So I had these finger tight and basically just took a hammer and just kind of knocked them over into position until I got my desired 220, which I read on the dial indicator. I also wanted to add, it's a good idea to check your top dead center measurement on your dial indicator after you set everything to make sure nothing moved while you're you're setting your, your timing just to ensure you got the right measurement. That's always a good idea to do. Um, another thing I wanted to add is I have some arrows that you, you can barely see right here. And then there's a set of three here as well. What these three are, I'm not quite sure if anybody wants to add that to the comments, that'd be great. But this arrow on the side here, I believe is a mark that indicates uh, your timing, your ignition timing. And when I have mine properly set, the center or the, the tip of that arrow is just about at the center of that arm. Right there. So if, if you don't want to go through all this, maybe that's a good starting point just to kind of line up the, the tip of that arrow in the center of your contact arm.